A new drug is being tested in Springfield and it's giving cancer patients an alternative to chemotherapy. Good evening. I'm Ty Steele. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Amanda Sitzman. The new treatment is designed for patients with a common form of leukemia who may not want chemotherapy. News Source 16, Sina Sleem has the information on this and shares one patient's story. Sina? Gaziva is a new FDA approved drug for people with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Willamette Valley Cancer Institute was involved in the first North America study of the drug and had 10 of the total 80 patients. I thought almost anything that was out there being offered would potentially be better and easier to handle than chemotherapy. In spring 2011, Betty Hemmingson was officially diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, otherwise known as CLL. At the time, Willamette Valley Cancer Institute was doing clinical trials of a new drug, Gaziva, which is another option for those with CLL who don't want chemotherapy. Dr. Sherman explains how it works. Alerts the immune system that there's a problem. It binds onto the outside of the cancer cells and tells the rest of the immune system that they need to eradicate the cells. So in truth, it's really using the immune system to fight off a cancer of the immune system. Hemmingson said the six-month clinical trial was easy and she had no negative reactions to the drug, except for the first two weeks of the six-month trial. Fever for about two weeks. And after that, that was it. Um, I never had a further reaction to the actual infusion. All that area right there was disease and then here it's all cleared up. The FDA approved the drug last week and patients can now ask for treatment nationwide. Gaziva was the first drug approved with the FDA's breakthrough therapy designation. Hemmingson says her doctor told her the disease is inactive and her blood tests show normal. Doctors do warn although the disease is inactive, the cancer could come back. Live in the studio, Sina Sleem, News Source 16. Well, thank you, Sina.